Okay, I'm gonna do a YouTube novel that I'm just gonna like basically talk about. I'm gonna write it, but my character comes home from work and um, he's like, he just gets home. He sits at his computer. Which is like, here's a coffee table. He's sitting, here's a couch. He's sitting at his computer and this hacker gets a hold of him and tells him that this uh, Italian mafia, this mafia gang, is... Get him down. This is GTA 5. Excuse me. Italian mafia, or this mafia is a mixture of Italian mafia and the Mexican mafia after this guy because they went to this other dude to get their money fifty thousand dollars and um, he said he didn't he doesn't have it but this guy Fred has it Fred Brown is his name so he makes it look like he does because he's he's a hacker too I don't know the guy's name uh, hold on Call him Sean. So Sean is a hacker and he uh Sean says to the Italian Mexican mafia Fred has it. So and he shows some evidence on computer how he does it, I don't know, but this guy named uh, Andre, which is call him Andre, says to Fred, they're going to be at your house in 15 minutes to kill you because they think you got the money that you hid it. So, Fred closes his laptop, gets his stuff ready, puts it in the bag, gets out of the house, goes across the street, hides in under one of these mobile homes, and then in 15 minutes, these guys come back, now these guys come by, they search the house, they look through the window, see if anybody's there, they sneak in, they search the house, nothing, <coughs> and they're thinking either he's taken off or he's around here somewhere hiding <coughs> so he's uh... the mafia is like okay we need to find this guy if he's got our money but if we look here then that could be time that he could have to take off and hide somewhere but they don't want to go out there looking if he's in here hiding somewhere. This is the closest place they think to look because it's so close. Um, hold on. That's where the car is. Car. <coughs> At the beginning, I think he, um, he takes his car so that they think he's gone so he takes his car and uh... goes out of the, goes out of the driveway and actually he um... he pulls the car out and drives up here I think that's how he does it uh... hold on um, Shoot, how do we do this? Because this is this video is just a work in progress video. Um because he ends up asking the lady Nancy Smith and if he can hide his car here and put a cover on it. 
If she has a car cover, she happens to have one. But I'm thinking, do I have it to where the car's here and he goes and hides and they come by and they see his car's here? So they look around and then while they're, while they're gone, looking around somewhere else, he knows for a fact the coast is clear. He gets his car, pulls it up under here, asks the lady. Because he ends up, if one, the first situation, first idea is he takes his car, or he leaves his car, he goes hiding under this one. And then these guys come in, he sees them through a crack, he opens the bottom, sh sh uh, what do you call that? The siding of the house. <coughs> Mobile home siding. And he sees the guys are here looking, looking through the car windows and stuff, the house windows too. And then they come around here looking. They pull up their black van because it's like six people. Two up front and four in the back. And they got weapons with silencers. So they come driving over here looking for them. <coughs> One of them gets out here and looks while the other is driving around. He's, he's under... Yeah, he's right here looking through the south and the west looking at the guy and he's on foot looking for the guy because if the van's over here driving then they think if the guy's around he might hear the van and think that uh, they're all in the van and he might just come out if he hears the van going this way he might come out and the guy could catch him so one of them's already out, one of them in the back. The two guys are driving in the front. He ends up coming up, looking through here, <coughs> coming up over here, seeing the van, because he cracks the siding open there, and uh, sees the van going this way. <coughs> he ends up sneaking past under here, and then under here, and they're able to cross the street, and I'll ask this lady first. Hey, these guys are after me. They're trying to kill me. They think I have their money, and I don't. Is there a place I can hide and hide my car? And I can explain explain later. She's like, okay. So he ends up hiding here. They end up seeing nothing. And one of the guys ends up looking under some of these places. When he gets over, like right about here, the guy ends up going through this area, looking at the siding, but underneath this RV, mobile home I mean, not RV, mobile home, there's a little area that has another siding inside of it, which has pipes that lead down to the septic tank and stuff. And he goes inside there and holds onto the pipes. Actually, yeah, he goes inside the siding and then he looks up and sees there's another little flaps which he slides one over and then puts it back in place and holds on to these pipes while the guy's un underneath him looking for him because <coughs> he thought he heard a no noise the Italian guy thought he heard a noise and the lady there's running the dishwasher which happens to have the pipes hot as hell so the guy's trying to hold on without making it obvious that he's there by making any noise the guy ends up the mafia man um, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to name him yet, but he ends up finding nothing, goes back, and Fred ends up getting out, going over here, carefully, and then making his way there, and he's like, is there a way I can get into the house if there, if, I don't want to go through the door, because it might be too obvious if they're looking that way there's a way I could get in she's like well you could go under our mobile home there's a latch that leads to the closet like over here somewhere and uh, he ends up going in there through the closet latch and talking to the the lady Nancy and her her daughter 
I think her husband might be there. The, uh, uh, what's, the daughter's husband might be there at the house. <coughs> I know the son's there and the daughter's there. And the rest of the family is elsewhere and they're trying to figure out a way to help him escape. So I'm just putting these ideas out here for now. He's got to try to find a way to get out of here because the mafia is going to end up probably blowing up his house or something. <coughs> I haven't thought that far yet, but this is what I got so far. Should I talk to y'all?